Good morning. It is still morning, even though it's late morning. Welcome to this edition of Homesteading Not Exactly. Today is January 1st, and I am really hoping to get this video out in a timely manner, especially since I stated the date. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get this video out later this week so that it's not super late with what I'm, I'm keeping track with what I'm trying to accomplish. No guarantees. I'm going to do the best that I can. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I have been um, mentally preparing for about a month now um, with what I want to do with my spring garden. And here we are, beginning of January, and it is time to start getting the ball rolling. I have ordered a lot of new seeds, which I'm really excited about. Some of them have come in already, still waiting for some, probably will be here this week. Um, so in the next week to two weeks, I am going to be starting all of my seedlings in seed trays uh, inside. Our last frost date here in my area is February 6th, so I want to make sure that um, all of the seedlings are ready to go in the ground, hopefully mid to end of February. That's the goal. I want to make sure it's past that frost date and that all of the seedlings are big enough, strong enough to survive uh, the possibility of colder, colder weather still. Um, because we do, we could get still some pretty cool temperatures in uh, end of February, uh, in which case I, I can protect them, but I, I wanna make sure they get off to a good start. So I am really looking forward to this season. I have this crazy idea that I can make my garden a lot bigger than I did last year. We'll see how that goes. I have so many things I wanna plant this year. It's going to be fun but it's going to be a lot of work um, in addition to the medicinal garden I just have a lot of other veggies that I want to add to my space and so now is the time to do all the prep work uh, I've got a good two months to lay out all of the groundwork in the actual garden while the seedlings are growing take advantage of the cooler temps because once it gets hot out I'm not doing it I just want to come out water cultivate weed a few things here and there, spray one, you know, I don't want to be dealing with heavy duty labor in the middle of, you know, 90 plus degrees. It's just too much for me. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to give this a try and I'm actually going to really put a good effort into it as far as learning more about the individual plants and what their needs are. Last year, I kind of just winged it. Um, I can't say, I did some research, but I can't say that I put my whole heart into it. Here's my crazy dog. She's wanting, see if I can get it in here. This is, this is her goal right there. <laughs> she wants me to throw the ball. Um, but yeah, last year I did some research. I think I just had too much going on with starting up was a little bit overwhelming and I just kind of had the attitude whatever happens happens I'm just gonna try it for now but um, this year maybe not do in-depth research on every single individual thing but definitely I have a few plants that I want to really put more effort into and then increase my knowledge on them and then every season pick another plant or two and do the same thing and uh, see how much of a difference that makes with what we get to harvest and the actual health of all the plants in general. And um, yeah, so take a look at what I think I'm going to do. We interrupt this broadcast with yet another episode of Crazy Kahlua Fetches the Ball. Don't let her cute spunkiness fool you. She really has just one mission in life and one mission only. And it is to make you throw the ball constantly, all day long. Mwahaha. So first of all, I want to give you 
an overview of what the garden's looking like right now. I'll have to see if I can find some pictures of what it looked like exactly one year ago and how all of this started. So this is the actual area that I am trying to develop right now. I have the rest of this for future oh. development. Later, later, baby girl, later. <laughs> um, but this is the area I want to stay in at the moment. Right here, I've got my strawberries and onions growing. I've got all these blocks that I want to use to set up more beds um, around the space. I have, oh, I got to show you tomatoes. I have so many tomatoes that are doing beautifully this winter season. I gotta water them. This is my lemon balm. It is so pretty. I've already harvested and have some drying inside. So I am super excited about using this in tinctures and teas and such. And then I have some more tomatoes over here. Look at that. These are getting picked today. Definitely getting picked today. And look at all these coming. So I want to grow a lot more tomatoes this spring because um, I want to make lots of tomato stuff. And this is my calendula. Look how pretty. That is so gorgeous. I haven't had one like that yet. And then this one, that's different too. So far, all the ones that have opened up have been these. Look at that. And these also I've been picking. I'm gonna pick probably two of these that have opened up and leave, I wanna start leaving a couple for seeds so that I don't have to um, keep purchasing the seeds. Oh, this one is so pretty. Can't wait for that to open all the way. And that'll be my first yellow one. Looks like we need some water in here. So we're gonna be watering too this morning. So these are the three original flower or garden beds that I made one year ago. Me and my hubby, he helped me put these up. And then kind of been planning in my head what I want to do, but I want to make some more of the concrete, maybe two more concrete beds going this way, possibly three if they fit. And then um, two or three more going along this way. And then, uh, and then we'll see, because I want to leave space in that general area for the, um, grow bags since I have them I want to put them to good use until they're no good anymore and then over here I'm not a hundred percent sure on this idea yet because I really need to pay attention to where my Sun is when it gets warmer um, but I would love to make this whole area my medicinal herb garden that would be phenomenal um, I do have to leave space or a trail, a tra a path, a path to get to the pool pump back there. But other than that, if I could make all of this area a medicinal herb garden, I'd be really happy. So then my biggest challenge is keeping these fur babies out. Okay. Is she home? Let's take a look at the strawberries. some coming in. Ooh. So we're going to be munching on some strawberries soon. There's another one. Strawberries always seem to do really well. Anyway, um, my other goal for this coming year is to get my citrus looking better. Um, this was one of the things I did not do too much research on and they have struggled. This is a lime tree and then over here, this one's lemon. Lemon's actually looking better right now. It's got some new growth in it, which I'm happy to see. And then over here, this is my navel orange tree. And it did produce three oranges. One of them I found on the ground last week. 
uh, and we ate it. It wasn't bad. It wasn't completely ripe. Um, it smelled amazing. It just didn't have too much flavor. But um, it's actually looking nicer right now too. Not struggling as much as it was. But so yeah, research definitely going to happen on citrus trees because I want these trees to thrive. And I've heard citrus is not very easy to grow for beginners, but I like a challenge. So let's do it. So today I'm basically going to work on laying out where I want those blocks to be. I'm not necessarily going to dig them in the ground. I just want to see what it's going to look like. And then if I'm happy with how it looks, I'll go ahead and start digging and getting them set. So here we go. Okay, so I am about three blocks short of finishing this off, going, oh, I'm backwards in the camera, yeah, there we go, to close that, to close off, I can't point, so anyway, three blocks short to close this off. No, it's not level. I didn't even try at this point to level it out. I really just wanted to see the size. Um, kind of debating if I even want to level it out because it's a lot of digging, a lot of work. I know it'll be better in the long run, um, but just really depends on how much time I have this week to do that. I probably will, at least this part. Like right there, you can see how it kind of humps over and then it dips down as it comes towards me. Um, but I really like the size. It is approximately four feet wide by eight feet long, just like these garden beds. Um, I kind of wanted to mimic that. And then I made a three foot walkway I left open to walk down this path from the gate. And because um, I need to leave an area open, like I said earlier, all the way to the pool pump. And then, uh, yeah, so 
basically I need to get more blocks and then I need to start filling it up um, this particular bed is going to be for tomatoes I don't think that I will worry about making it two blocks high because tomatoes don't really need that much depth to them once I get the um, weed block out from underneath it it should be fine I do want to lay in the ground just like I did for my other garden beds some hardware fabric to keep moles and other critters from coming up from underneath and eating the roots so yeah um, step one for spring gardening is kind of at a standstill for the moment I'm still planning in my head. I got all kinds of measurements earlier so that I can go in and kind of draw it out and see if it's gonna work how I have it in my mind because a lot of times it doesn't work when I actually go to do it. And then, I mean, I'm fine with just changing things, but it's nice to have a general idea of how you want it to go. So, um, stage one, part one, whatever you wanna call it, of homesteading, not exactly spring garden 2024 and guys don't forget to learn something new and grow a little too see you next time